Hello friends, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Desmond Joyce Nato and on my channel I discuss politics and how government works. So if this is your first time, click the subscribe button and join the political family. Stay tuned. Today we are discussing theories of political change and we are going to look at the major spectrums, the major points on the political spectrum and how they react to change. They are attitudes towards change. This is sort of a continuation from our discussion and teaching on political behavior. Political behavior, you can, you know, click on the, check the link and go back to that teaching. It's better you watch that teaching or before coming back to this particular teaching. But, you know, you can still catch up. In our teaching on political behavior, we explained in details how individuals come to believe the things they believe and why they act the way they act. But in this particular teaching is going to be how they react to change and how their socialization over the years, which is the socialization is what you find in the political behavior teaching and how they react to change. And maybe you know where you fall on the political spectrum. We have the conservatives, we have the liberals, we have the radicals. So if you've ever heard of change or you wondered how to change your society, how to change a situation, then you should stay tuned and then see where you belong on the political spectrum of change. In understanding political change, we have to also understand how this change come about and the type of change literally that make people to support or go against change there are four major things that people consider when determining whether to accept reject um, a policy or a change the first is the direction of the change the second is the speed of the change the third is the depth of the change and then the method of the change the methods that will be used to accomplish this change that is being sought after in society the first being direction direction simply means where is the change taking us to is the change endorsing something that is already existing or is the change bringing about a whole new thing in society and sometimes some direction of change can be too drastic for some people. The second being the depth of the change. How moderate or major is this change going to be? Is this something that is going to be uprooting an institution? Or is it something that is just going to, you know, twitch little things in the institution and let it be? This can be a determinant of how people respond to change. Thirdly is the speed of the change. How quick is this change going to come about? Because when people are dissatisfied about something, they want the change and they're not prepared to wait and dialogue and debate and go over it. If they want something, they want it right now. And some people in society, they may not be prepared for that level of shock, of overnight change, um, on, on things that they are used to, things that they are, they are familiar with. So the speed of the change is also going to determine how people respond to the change. The fourth and the final is the method of the change. How is this change going to come about? Is it going to be a violent, brutish, you know, revolution that is going to sweep society off its feet? Some people do not want that even though they want change. Or is it a change that is going to come about through debating and discourse and dialogue and policy these are the type of change that some people want why some people want overnight snap their finger and everything is brand new everything is the system is completely uprooted and another system have replaced it so these are the four pointers that can determine how people respond to change so what are the major points on the political spectrum of change consider this a political spectrum of change and some people are over here on the extreme end on the extreme left let's call this the left they are so left they can't find their way back to even the middle some people are over here that the left they are part of the left but they also tend to be towards the middle some people are over here in the middle this as why some people are over here to the extreme right so this is what, where do you belong on the spectrum is what we are trying to discuss. Starting from the extreme left, we have the radicals. The radicals, they want change. When do they want it? They want it now. How do they want it? They want it any way possible. Violently, overthrowing government, through revolution, they, nothing 
that is going to be nothing short of a radical change is going to be good enough they want it and they want it now they are willing to do anything to get what they want they are not willing to debate it they are not willing to argue about it nothing short of what they want is going to do but even with the radical change makers there are those that are called the pacifists they are radicals they want change and they want it now but they also want change through a non-violent method people like um, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, they are radicals but they advocate for non-violent method of getting quick change. Second on the left on the political spectrum are the Libras. The Libras generally have respect for rule of law but are quick to, re um, to recognize the things that are wrong in the system and they want to change it. The difference between the radicals and the Libras is why the radicals completely have disregard for rule of law and are majorly suspicious of government and see the government as an instrument of control. The Libras, they see the government as what they can use to assert the change that they need in society. Thirdly, and in the middle, we have the moderates. The moderates are generally satisfied with society. They don't think society is that bad. Even though they agree that there are little things that need to be changed in society, they do not, they accept the status quo and they do not seek or actively go out to seek for this change. But they support those that seek for change and they are completely opposed to any form of drastic change that will come up will come about disrupting society first to the right we have the conservative the conservatives are generally the most happy with society they seek to protect all that they believe society and tradition has perfected most of the times a conservative does not support society or the status quo because they believe that is the best that can be they support because they believe that is the best that society can offer at that very point in time a conservative will actively go against any form of protest or agitation or call for a change in system or institution they see it as a way that is going to cause um a breakdown of law and order in society and as an effort on what society has perfected or what institution the institutions that tradition has perfected so conservatives are very reluctant to change and they will not entertain an idea of change majorly fifth and last on the spectrum of change are the reactionary they are said to belong to the extreme right, but personally, I don't think these people belong anywhere on the spectrum of change in the sense that they are the only group that do not seek to maintain the status quo or change anything. Instead, they want to go backwards and imitate what has already happened. Like Nigerians that think Nigeria should return to the military era because that was when Nigeria was good. Or people that think the country should go back to when it was good again or great again or these people are the most retrogressive on the spectrum of change they shouldn't be on the spectrum of change according to my opinion and the reactionaries who are not really conservatives they have a pleasant nostalgia of when society was good one million years ago and they want to go back and imitate society because living in the present is a torture for them and the best thing that can happen to them is to time travel back to the past and you know leave when society was good again great again they want to completely imitate the past so these are the five categories on the spectrum of change where do you belong are you a radical a liberal a moderate a conservative or you want to time travel back to the past and be a reactionary that's it for today. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I am grateful for the support. Do not stop supporting me and support me by subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, and wear a mask.